Well, today we continue on in the book of Job as we learn a little bit more about Job's life, Job's challenges. As Pastor Hale shared yesterday, it's hard to read about Job. Here is this great man of God and um, of strength and success, and he is struck down repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. He loses everything. In fact, he's lost his children. And we we um, start today in Job chapter two, and we're introduced to Job's wife. Now, as a wife, you can imagine having a husband who has lost everything, who has been so successful and has lost everything. And because of Job, because of her husband, their children are gone. Their children are dead. This um, wife of Job's is suffering her own anguish here. She is suffering a great amount of grief and she doesn't really know how to process all that is happening to Job and to her as a result. Well, in Job chapter two, they have some words, Job and his wife. They, um, they, they don't speak kindly to one another. In fact, they go their separate ways for a little while as well. But what I want us to talk about today, which is really our theme for this whole week in our lectionary text, is that God is with us in our suffering, in our weakness, in our challenging times, in the times when we are suffering the most. God is with us. God doesn't abandon us. God doesn't leave us. We were talking in my Sunday school class a couple of Sundays ago about um, good times and challenging times and how when we have our own successes, when things are going well, when we are, when we are doing well in life, when we're being successful, we tend to become a little self-reliant. We tend to not realize how much we need God. And then all of a sudden that bump in the road happens and something unexpected comes our way and we realize just how reliant and dependent we are upon God. This certainly is the season we see here for Job and his wife as they uh, endure great suffering. It's a great reminder for us today that no matter what it is that we are dealing with, no matter what it is that we are going through, God is with us. God is with us in the good times. God is with us in our grief. God is with us in our suffering. He never abandons us. He never leaves us. And he loves us through it. I hope you have a great day today.